Hi, Taurus. Happy February. Hope you guys are doing well. So I feel like February is going to be uh, an informative month. Um, I feel like there there's information in some form or another that's going to be coming into to everyone to help enlighten them and, and kind of make some decisions on directions going forward. So we'll see have to see how that manifests for you guys. An informative month, information coming in, clarification coming in. Let's go ahead and take a look at your key for the month, the hangman. It says, I am new perspective, the first stage of change that accompanies new growth. I am willing to be patient as my perspectives shift and adjust to this new way of seeing the world. I'm not a victim or a, a, a martyr. I am in the state of optimal choice. I will allow the unfolding of my life as I am being guided back to truth, releasing that which no longer serves me and holding on to what does. Okay. Hmm. You know what, uh, Taurus, I call the hangman uh, the universal timeout. <laughs> it's the universe's way of postponing things and putting everything on hold for you in order for you to gain new perspective and adjust. It's a period of adjustment and assessment, and, and it's like a mandatory timeout, you know, and it's a major arcana, so it's a major theme right now. If you guys feel, feel frustrated um, by inactivity or by stagnance and um, things not progressing or move forward, moving forward as you want to right now, please make sure to, to take a look at where you are right now and really assess your situation. That's really what the universe is asking you to do right now. That's what the hangman is about. There's a certain reason for the stagnation. And, you know, you may, may not under, understand why, um, you know, things aren't progressing and moving the way that you want them to, uh, but that's okay. Just understand, Taurus, that there is a reason for it. There's a reason why uh, things are stuck right now because they're not ready to move forward. And it could not only just be about your perspective and things that you need to realize about what, you know, what, what you're thinking and what you're doing, but it could also be that there are other people and things involved um, that are not ready for you to take action. I, I mean, what do I mean by that? I, what I mean is we are all like interlined in some way, shape or form or another. So there might be something else that someone else is going through or that has to go through or conditions that have to meet at just the right time and it's not time yet and that's why things are being uh, held on you know that's why things are on hold for you is because the other things that are dependent on the situation you know haven't come through yet so I know it's hard and there sometimes can be a feeling of impatience that comes along with the hangman um, but understand that things will happen when they're supposed to. Have faith in that. There's a reason why they're on hold. And that reason is, is sometimes greater than your understanding. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, first card out is Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. And this is all about divine timing. It's all about divine timing moving in your favor. This is what I call God's clock, right? There is definitely something in the works here, Taurus, where it has to be exactly the right time. There are other things, there are other cogs in the clock that have to move and catch and, and be positioned in, in just the certain right way in order for initiation, in order for things to happen. So please understand this month, Taurus, if you feel like there is stagnation and the ability, inability to move forward, that there is a reason for that process because divine timing is at play here. 
I swear I can't make this up, Taurus. Underneath that, we have another major arcana, the hangman. Yep, you guys are in a period of, like, you know, non-activity. Because, number one, the universe may be asking you to recognize something or to understand something or to gain new perspective. You know, and, and sometimes a period of stagnation is exactly what we need in order to really contemplate what's going on. But I do, especially with the Wheel of Fortune right above that, divine timing is at play. This, this is where everything has to come together um, at a certain time, a certain way, certain place, with certain people. And um, understand that that's what's going on right now. <laughs> King of Cups, this guy has been making an appearance and like, I swear almost every reading that I've done this month, sometimes like I feel like every month there's there's kind of like this theme that goes on. So King of Cups is someone who is emotionally grounded, emotionally stable. He um, is typically depicted in the middle of this choppy ocean, um, choppy waters all around him and he's sitting on his crown and he's completely content and calm. Uh, nothing going on around him is going to, to, to shake him. He is emotionally content within himself. And therefore, what the, the things that are going on around him don't really, you know, have that kind of emotional effect on him. Hmm. Underneath that, we have the Three of Rods. So, okay, Taurus, you know, this is about like waiting for your ships to come in. All right, again, this is a little bit of a waiting card. Um, you know, you're waiting for all of the hard work and the effort and everything that you've put into something to come back to you so that you can take initiation and action and move forward. Four of Cups, dissatisfied, emotional dissatisfaction, blah. You could be surrounded by all the good things in life and still be unsatisfied emotionally. You guys are really like waiting for something. Yeah. You guys are like, when is it gonna be my turn? And the Six of Rods, Taurus, victory. The victory card. Success after battle. Okay, you know what, Taurus, it's not going to be too much longer. It really isn't. Just, you know, patience. Here's, here's this, here's the, you know, be the king of cups. Be the one who is emotionally grounded and, and understand that it's okay to have a period of boredom and stagnation and, and not seeing the results of and, and the fruits of your labor. It's okay. You will. You will be victorious. It's, I'm telling you guys, Taurus, it's, it's, it's God's clock right now. Things are, are working behind the scenes that you're not aware of, okay? And I know you're frustrated and, and you feel like you're, you're not emotionally fulfilled and you're not getting that type of oomph and that type of return that you're looking for. And, and it's driving you probably like a little bit nuts. Like, I get it, you know, I get it. And Taurus typically is, you know, more a, a, a more, you know, a sign that that has uh, that is known for having patience and and having the ability to see cycles through and to and the ability to do one step at a time. But I'm telling you guys, you have put in the work, you've put in the time, you know, you've put in the effort, and now you're just like, okay, time to see some results. I'm telling you guys, it's going to happen. Those results are going to come in. It's just going to come in at exactly the right time that it's meant to. Please have faith and understand that this month and the month of February while you hang out. <laughs> it will come in for you guys, Taurus. It's just everything's got to, to be just the right circumstance and the right timing. And I promise you're going to, you, you will reap the rewards and, and you will see confirmation. You will have that victory that, um, that you've been looking forward to. Yeah. All right. I want to get a clarifier for the Four of Cups. I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I know, I, I mean, I can tell like there's a little bit of like emotional dis dissatisfaction with this stagnance and, you know, like I said, you guys could be surrounded by all this, you know, good things, great things, but it's like, eh, 
It's not what I'm wanting. That's not what I want. Knight of Pentacles, here you are. All right, the planner, the strategist. Knight of Pentacles is someone who, you know, um, doesn't just charge into the battle like the other knights. He's actually someone who, who uh, like sits back and assesses the, the situation, assesses his resources too, to see what's available. Yeah, you guys have been, you do, you have been planning, you have been strategizing, you have been right on point. And now you're just waiting. It's a waiting game right now. But but please understand that the wheel is turning in your direction and, and you, you will see the outcome of this. Patience, Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and pull an advice card for you. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know what to say, Taurus. Maybe just try to distract yourself with something completely different than what it is you've been working on. Just go do something random and allow these things to all come into play. I mean, you really don't need to put any, you know, not that I'm telling you to stop putting effort into it, but I, I really do feel like it's just a matter of timing and, and not something else that you need to do that you've already done. It's a matter of timing. Dearest you, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you we are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. We are conduits for spirit, letting you know you are living a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you hear us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on the earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved. Beautiful Taurus. Hmm. Hmm. Allow yourself to be inspired again. So here's the thing, Taurus. Sometimes we can be so focused on the outcome of things that we lose the ability to understand our, our you know, why we're doing it. We lose sight of why we're doing things because we get so set on, on the outcome that we don't enjoy the process of it, the reason for it, the, the, the initial spark of inspiration that created it to begin with. So even though you may not like be seeing that, that goal coming in yet or you know that, that solid thing that you've been wanting, Take time to appreciate the, the process of it. Reflect on how it started. Reflect on why it started. Reflect on what inspired you to do that and, and keep that very close to your heart because that is the reason. That is the reason, not the, not the outcome. Yes, it's great to have goals and to achieve those goals and to meet those goals. But understand and recognize and appreciate the process. All right. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.